Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the fifth episode in the series Facial for the Complete Beginners. And this episode is going to be a special episode. Special episode? What's that all about? Well, I'll tell you what this is all about. The reason why I'm making this is because um, I know you guys want more videos, but I don't know how much, and I don't want to be um, putting out a lot of videos, and you guys don't want them. So, this is sort of uh, the more you like this video the more um, videos I'll put out because I don't want to be putting out a lot of videos and you know you guys don't want to watch them because it is a lot of work to make these videos but it does worth it if you guys want them so the deal is um, 10 likes if I get on this episode if I get 10 likes you'll get three extra episodes in the beginning series next Sunday when I'm uploading the videos at once, alright, pretty straightforward, I think it's easy, you guys can achieve this pretty easily. The second bit is, um, 25 likes, and then you get the first bit, which is for 10 likes, so you get 3 extra episodes in the beginning series, I'll play that once next Sunday, and also, I'll make a new series about how to YouTube channel background, brand new series, a special start off with 3 episodes at once, so... I'll make a brand new um, series dedicated to how to make um, a YouTube background for you guys um, and you should be following along easily even if you haven't been watching the uh, facial for complete beginning series now the third bit is um, 50 likes which is a lot I know but the reason for that is if I do get 50 likes I have to make the first bit, the second bit, and this as well. So if you think about it, I would have to make three plus the two that I normally do. So there's five videos, then three videos, the eight videos plus this. So I would have to produce 13 videos for you guys, and I only want to do that if you guys do want it. All right. So what I would be doing as I start another brand new series dedicated to digital map painting alright a brand new series and this one would start off with a special start off as well five episodes at once alright so if I show you guys what you would be creating um, channel background so this is my channel background I would provide this pen, uh, template for you guys uh, I would put it up for upload so you guys can download it and then work on the same template that I was working and this is for the new channel layout as well alright I can provide a, a partner template as well if you guys want it but basically I will show you how to create a nice and neat channel design the third one which I have created for my graphic design final major project back in college which was matte painting so what you're going to be doing is this is what I've done these are pictures put together of the city where I live um, this is what I started off with and this is where I ended up um, where is it this one alright so if it loads up so basically from where is it um, yeah from this you'll be creating this when it's finalized okay or something similar but I'll go through from the very beginning the very basics of matte painting and digital painting how can you basically achieve something like this okay so it's going to be a quite long series and I'll go in a lot of detail so you guys understand every single step of how to make something like this okay so this is the deal um, and that's about it that's the special episode but let's continue with um, episode 5 where am I five minutes okay exactly how I plan it so episode 5 we're gonna go through image adjustments and filters really quickly um, the reason why it's gonna be quickly because basically the filters you should explore yourself um, 
I'm not going to go through every single filter in here and image adjustments you can play around with these in your old, own time but I'll talk through the very well not important ones but the ones that you're going to be using the most okay so the lays episode I'm not going to go through this today I'll be going through it the next episode we'll start off with lays and uh, we'll go through that but anyway let's crack on so I'm going to unlock my image um, this image I took from my graphic design course that I've done um, so basically I just unlock my layer and if you come into here image adjustments well actually we'll go through this bit first image mode you got grayscale RGB CMYK and all this you don't have to worry about these what you want to worry about is RGB CMYK Ooh. Sorry, and grayscale. So what you can do here, if you want your image to be grayscale, you can just change the code mode to grayscale. Discard color information, and your image turns into black and white. All right, pretty straightforward, easy stuff. Next stuff, we got mode CMYK. Basically, your image will just use more color instead of red, green, and blue, which is RGB it will use CMYK which is like cyan and Mongolian or something I can't even remember but basically you'll have more colors in your image um, so that's for mode don't worry about these bits I never used them I'm sure some people do but I haven't had to so far adjustment um, first I'm going to go through the auto tone contrast and color basically these are quick adjustments that Photoshop decides depending on your image or I don't know how it decides it but it does it so what you can do you can do auto tone and basically as you can tell it sorts out the tones in your color uh, in your image so it will look better another thing you can do is image auto contrast so if the contrast is out in the image then this will try to sort it out like so third thing auto color so basically it just sorts out the colors in your image try to make it all look nice and pretty um, so that's it for um, auto adjustments pretty straightforward then you got adjustments that you can do by yourself so if you come into adjustments you got brightness contrast levels curves and all this good stuff but you want to first worry about brightness contrast so if I want to make my image darker I can just do left click and drag and it will make it lighter or darker alright pretty straightforward contrast I can change this by increasing it or decreasing it alright so pretty straightforward stuff guys next we have levels basically these are the color levels in your image the red green and blue um, the left one is going to be red so if you increase this it will darken the reds in your image that I don't have a lot of if you turn the middle one it's going to be green so it takes the greens out of my image or darkens them, lightens them and this one's going to be blue so if I turn it down it lightens them and that's about it output levels don't really worry about this too much um, and you got obviously the auto option here as well so that's for levels pretty straightforward curves and exposure I'm not going to go into that um, yet you can play around with it and you got hue saturation basically with this you can change the color of your image so if you want let's say you want more of a red look to it then you can do that and then you can turn down the lightness or turn it up you can turn down the saturation it makes it more grayscale turn it up so you can play around with these sliders guys and experiment for yourself and then you'll find some good stuff all right next thing what do we have hue saturation color balance not going to worry about these invert so you can invert your image which you probably have on most of your phones so I never use it um, creating map shadows highlights HDR toning desaturate basically is the same thing in terms of black and white as if you went to mode um, black and white it's the same thing as if you just desaturate your image 
Okay, um, and that's about it. I'm not going to get into anything else because I don't need to. I don't think for this beginning series. You can change your image size in here as well. The canvas size, image rotation. Um, you can flip your canvas horizontal if you wanted to. Um, that's about it from quick adjustment and edits. Not going to go into anything else. Another thing I wanted to talk about in this episode is the filters. All right, so there are a lot of filters in Photoshop. So if I just get back into my original image, like so, if I come into filter, I'll just show you one of them. All right, so if you just click one of the um, one of the filters this little window will come up which is your filter editor and you can pick more filters here save it in here you can change the options for your filters uh, depending on what filter you have so let's see if we can find something decent um, rough pastels sponge watercolor and all this good stuff so you got probably about a hundred different filters no not that much but quite a lot but basically what I want you guys to do is come in here and just click free every single filter and just experiment with them and see what they do how you can adjust them and see if it can ever become useful in your photoshopping career I don't I hardly ever use these so I'm not going to go into too much detail that looks pretty cool though um, but yeah that's for filters alright so play around with these explore them that's the best way to learn them really other thing we have in filters is liquify alright so basically this tool is what people use on models so they can sort out if I wanted to make this sign smaller I'm not going to go into the liquify tool too much in detail but if you guys want me to I can make a separate episode just on liquify but I hardly ever use it so I don't see the point in going into this too much unless this is what you want to specialize in like touching up pictures of um, people alright but basically um, I can make things look bigger or smaller I can pinch them together um, this is the puck tool, uh, it makes things smaller. Alright, so let's say if I wanted to make someone skinnier or smaller, I could do with this, or I can, as you can see, I can make this look like it being damaged and all that sort. Alright, so it's a great image editing tool. I'm not going to go into it too much. You can play around with it if you like, and if you want to learn more about it, I'll make a separate episode about it. And I think this is it for episode 5. If you want to take a part in the way, please do so, and I guess you would if you wanted more videos. Make sure you comment and tell me what you think. Tell me that I'm doing great and that you guys want more videos and it helps me keep going a lot trust me guys you're the only reason why I'm making videos so if you want more please tell me and then you'll get more videos and that's the reason why this episode is special is because you can let me know that you want more videos and you'll be getting more videos alright pretty straightforward guys peace out